Once in a while in life you come across someone who is making things happen in their own respective niche and they are really passionate about what they are doing and they are actually very skilled in, in it and at it and they are making a difference and a contribution and such a person is none other than uh, Dr. or Professor Patrick Oguang, the founder of Jenna Hubbles and the inventor of Covidex. This is the second part of the interview that I had with him and in this interview we cover quite a bit of information including how he came up, up with the Covidex, how he had a call from the president of the Republic of Uganda for the very first time in his life and how he felt threatened with uh, the invention and the things that he went through to be able to bring this to pass. He still believes even as today that this is a cure for COVID-19 and it's needed in this wide world. Listen to this episode. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So we are back with the uh, professor plus time we talked. We were talking about your life and uh, how you started studying and uh, all the way up to where you are right now. In fact, how you studied up to university and uh, graduated and so on. Let's talk about the, the graduation. Uh, how was uh, the procedure? How was the process from the time you you entered the university to the time you left. Of course, you mentioned about working at the pharmacy. How long did you work at that pharmacy? I worked there until I completed my first degree. Okay. Even after doing internship, yeah. in Lago, I was still working there. So that this was... Um, like five years on Five years. Mm-hmm. So from that moment on, from the moment you went to ask your uncle for money and uh, he did not respond well, mm-hmm. Up to the time you graduated, there was no money problem anymore. Totally, right? totally. Okay. I actually became very rich again when I was a student. Right. I used to support many of my friends. Mm. Even I would pay school fees for some of them at the university. Wow. Using the money I would earn. Actually, many of them thought I was the son of a minister. <laughs> Not knowing that I came with one shirt and one trouser <laughs> and a police and no shoes. No shoes. Yeah. So they would come my room. Oh, you man, your father loves you. Yeah. I said, okay. Yeah. Your father in heaven, not yeah. the physical one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that evening work will give me enough money, more yeah. than enough. Yeah. So graduation, my graduation for first degree, happened in my uncle's home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He must have been very proud. Yeah, I was very happy. Yeah. I was also happy. Yeah. That I completed. Yeah. Yeah. So. This this was which year? Ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Okay. So you graduate from Makerere with a degree in pharmacy. In pharmacy. Mm-hmm. Next step, internship. The internship. So, internship I did in Mulago mm. for the, all, all the 12, 12 months. Mm. Some people had chance to go to NDA, mm. National Medical Stores, mm. but I remained in Mulago mm. for 12 months because I loved, um, I loved the clinical work. Mm. Uh, attending to patients, mm. uh, guiding them how to use medicines. Mm. So all my you had transformed because in, remember your first day, I you, never liked. You it. did not like it. Yes, mm. but now I'd come to to like. You see, the good thing with pharmacy is that uh, 
you are a resource mm. to the patient mm. or to the medical doctors mm. because when you are with them you guide them how they should be which medicines they should use mm. and, and uh, how the medicine should be used mm. and the outcome is really very good okay when a pharmacist works with the doctor together mm. excellent outcome mm. patients recover and doctors want to see patients recovering mm. so when they see the guidance they are giving them mm. their patients are recovering well they mm. really like it mm. in fact there was a time when during my internship mm. they, they, don't, they could not begin one round mm. before i come mm. They say let's wait for the pharmacist to come. Mm. When I reach, like I said, now we can start. We can start because when it comes to the medicine part, yeah. I was the solution provider. Wow! We do the diagnosis. Yeah, I do the medicine part. Yeah. So it was interesting. They are connected, right? Yes, they are connected. So you you know what kind of medicine? Yes. And how it works? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. How it should be used? Mm. Yeah. Which patients should not use what medicine? Mm. How they interact with other medicines? Mm. That will be my part. But you know, remember, you told your mama you're going to be a politician. Yeah. So now what happened? <laughs> okay. By then, now my mama had passed on. Oh. Yeah, but I think she would still be happy if she was alive. Did she pass on before you graduated? Well, yes, before. Oh. Yeah. But she knew that you were in university. Yeah, yeah. She so. knew I was I was in medical school. She must have been happy. Yeah, yeah. Uh. She, was, she was expecting. Okay. Her son to come out treating people. Yeah. Mm. So now you gave up on uh, are, you, are we going to see you vying for a seat for Soroti one day? No, that will be wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> totally. You see, when I buy for Soroti seat, I only serve Soroti people. Yeah. When I'm in my lab and I make covid decks, yeah. I make I serve all Ugandans, yeah. I serve Africa, I yeah. serve the entire world. Yeah. So, if I want to be more impactful, yeah. I should continue with my work of medicines. Right. I don't want to go into politics of village mm. of MP. but maybe you can become the president of I don't think so so politics for you is a no go zone in, no in I, I love leadership mm. but I don't like the politics in Uganda because mm. the politics in Uganda is not uh, supportive of each other mm. today I become I stand against you for MP I mm. become your enemy mm. If I want to turn for president, I become a problem. Mm. That's the problem we have in this country. Mm. Politics should be leadership, should mm. be serving. Mm. If you are the best, mm. you defeat me and you serve. I mm. support you because mm. you want the best leadership mm. at all levels. Mm. But here, it's not about the best leader. Mm. It's about who can manipulate things, mm. who can destroy the other better, mm. which is sad. Mm. They say good leaders. Match your other leaders. Mm. Good leaders want people better than them to come up. Mm. So we also need to get there. Mm. I think Europe has gotten there. Mm. Europe, the best leader, the best option mm. leads. Mm. Here is not the best option that may become the MP of mm. the village, but the one mm. who who had more money mm. or the one who changed the results. Mm. That is terrible. Mm. Yeah. So, so it's, I don't it's not like, something that you want to no, no, no. involve. I don't want, I don't want things which I do not win on merit. Okay. Yeah? Mm. I do I don't want things which which if I win I become a problem. Mm. That's not good. Mm. I want when I win, when I do something good, everybody mm. is happy. Mm. At least majority are happy. Mm. Yeah, and also I feel like I'm happy I'm doing the right thing. So and you're going to, to actually lead and maybe transform and Exactly. Yeah. I mean you should be a leader who is admired by the people. Yeah. You will have you'll have authority to speak. Yeah. You can guide them and they what? They will listen. Yeah. But if you change the results, yeah. Can you have authority to, to more authority to, to guide people? Yeah. You cannot. Yeah. So you're not a leader. Yeah. If you cannot have more authority, you cannot lead. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So you spend uh, one uh, one year, twelve months, doing the internship at mm-hmm. Mulago, mm-hmm. and uh, what happens next? So that's two thousand now. Yeah, two thousand. So before before finishing the internship, mm-hmm. people began looking for me mm-hmm. to go and work for them. Mm-hmm. So you know, by then pharmacies were produced like ten. Mm, so very it, few. Yeah, even That's why they were pleading with you people when you joined, don't change. Yes. Okay. Because we are, we are very few. And yeah. there was only a producing pharmacies by then. Yeah. Yeah. So before you finish internship like this, people were really looking for you mm. to give you money in advance. Mm. So I, I was convinced to go and work in Barara mm. with a private company there. Mm. So I worked there for 
two years mm. but I would also go to part time okay like to do volunteer service mm. in the hospital mm. yeah to just volunteer giving working with doctors in the hospital once mm. in a while mm. and then uh, after that I left I bought my own pharmacy with a friend mm. 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 we said with some money and we bought our own pharmacy in, still in Barara? in Kampala in Kampala mm. yeah so I came to work in the pharmacy mm on pharmacy but then also while I was there one day some gentleman who worked with the abacus 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 uh, company mm. they also did in medicine mm. he came to market their medicines to me mm-hmm. he was surprised mm. how much I knew mm. more than he knew about his medicine mm. I knew all the medicines that they have mm the good part of them mm. the mistakes mm. they had put on the labels mm. on the measurements mm. so instead of coming to teach me i was going to teach him giving him feedback feedback yes so when he went back i think he told his boss that i found some pharmacists there who knows our products even were telling us changes to make that abacus what do they deal with the 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 import medicines from india yeah. kenya but they also now manufacture yeah iv fluids okay so When they told the bosses, the mm. man came back and said, would you, would you like a job? <laughs> I said, why? Mm. He said, no, we want to give a job in our company. Mm. We are amazed by your knowledge of our products. Mm. So then they convinced me to go and work for them also. Mm. So when I was working for them, mm. I gave them another great idea. Mm-hmm. I told the boss one time that, you know, it's called Mr. Ramesh. Mm. Like, now, Mr. Ramesh, this country does mm. not make IV fluids. Mm. This is drip they call them drip yeah in the whole of uganda mm. no one is making drip mm. no masaline mm. dextrose mm. we are importing mm. but look what do you see in, in drip mm. water mm. water is like 99% mm. you know how much water is in lake victoria we <laughs> finish it <laughs> the rest is salt yeah and and glucose mm. easy if you have someone invest mm. the man saw a bright idea mm. so he went ahead and wrote a business plan mm. And then he, they got money from ADB, I think, mm. African Women Bank, mm. and they began the factory mm. in Mukono, that factory in Balala, mm. to make the IV fluids. Now they are supplying Uganda, mm. East Africa, and even beyond. Wow. So when they... Did, did, you, did you get some, uh, what do they call it? Share Percentage. Nothing. Nothing. You, you didn't, didn't know you were supposed to... to uh, the, the idea came from me, yeah. but I never thought of Yeah, you never thought of monetizing the idea. Yeah. yeah. I just gave them advice. Mm. So, but, but you don't feel bad about no, it. No, no, no. Yeah. So when they finished the factory, they called me. By then I stopped working with them. Yeah. I joined the Ministry of Health. Yeah. To do research in natural medicines. Yes. And I also began my master's degree program. Yeah. So then they finished, they called me. They said, Patrick, we have finished the factory. You advised us to build. <laughs> we are ready now. Mm. Come and be our pharmacist. Mm. We're going to pay you in the amount of money you need. Mm. So, I told him that, sorry, mm. I cannot come and be your pharmacist. Mm. They said, why? You don't give us the idea and we are ready. Mm. I said, no, where I am, I like what I'm doing. I mm. like research mm. and I'm doing research in natural medicines. Mm. They asked me, how much are you earning? I said, 500,000. Mm. I said, but I'm going to pay you 5 million, mm. 10 times. Mm. I said, it's okay, but I'm not coming. Wow. So I refused to go. Then he asked me, so whom would you recommend? I recommended the, one, my former lecturer. Yeah. And they gave me the job. He was happy. Yeah. Yeah, I remained uh, working in the lab here. So and why I did you give up 500,000 anyway? Uh, we will come back to that. But, so, from Barara, you buy a pharmacy mm. with these guys. Mm. And uh, you start working there. Mm. Then you go to Abacus. Mm. Uh, at what point did you get married? No, I got married in 2001. As soon as I finished internship, mm. uh, one year later, mm. we got married. When you were... I was still working in Barara. Barara yes. yes. Okay. My wife was working in Chitabu Hospital. Mm. So she was in Masaka. I would go to Barara work and come back to... After mm. work, we got married in a way. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, let's go back there. You... How did you end up in this... We call it natural... Chemotherapeutics. Natural? Natural, natural, called Natural Chemotherapeutics Research Lab. Okay, Natural Chemotherapeutics. Natural Chemotherapeutics yeah, it Research. Means, uh, it means 
treating using natural chemicals. How did that interest you? Where did the interest come from? So, uh, so when we were in pharmacy school, there is some course unit called pharmacognosy. Pharmacognosy means pharma means drug. Pharmacognosy mm. means knowing. Right. So, but it's mainly this with natural drug sources. Yeah. So I love that subject because you see the tree mm. and you see medicines in the tree. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So me, I cannot fail to get medicine anywhere I am. Mm. Whether I'm in the village, mm. whether I'm in the forest, mm. I cannot suffer with disease without knowing. Because I know many medicines that are in the trees, in the mm. plants. So, so, so you're saying you learned this in Makerere? Yes. Okay. So in Makerere, we are taught that subject. Mm. That course it's, it's part of it's part the of whole the pharmacy. Yes, yes. Right. But for the, some reason, it interested you. Yes, it was okay. very difficult, mm. a very hard subject because you use Latin names mm. for plants. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. Difficult names to pronounce, mm. difficult names to memorize. Mm. But I liked it because it was uh, easily applicable. Mm. I mean, you learn that, for example, you learn alo- aloe vera mm. uh, has these compounds. Mm that kills malaria parasite. And mm. you see the aloe vera is there. Mm. You can go and pick the plant, mm. cut it, mm. and maybe extract, mm. look for the compounds in it. Mm. So so it was interesting, it was practical. Mm. Unlike other other course units, mm. which are not practical, like, like from physical chemistry, they teach you organic synthesis, mm. how to synthesize aspirin, but you've never done it. Mm. How to synthesize, because there are no labs to do it. Mm. So you basically just cramming. Mm. But this one was practical. Application. Yeah, we yes. go pick a plant, Extract, yeah. run TLC, you see compound separating, yeah. you see different colors, yeah. you run tests in the lab, you see the results there. Yeah. So it was more practical. So, Are you the only one who got interested in this in yeah, your class? I think in my class I was the only one. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know why, but I think also my, my growing up in the village. Mm. See, in my class I think I was the only one who grew up from the village. Mm. Maybe we were two. Mm. So growing up in the village also made me love mm. I the plants we are using in the village. Mm. We are not used to tablets, mm. capsules. Mm. We are used to those mm. bags, those leaves to treat mm. ourselves. So it mm. make to connect with me. Mm. My mother used to give us those herbs. Mm. You have a stomach problem, they scrub mm. the bag, they boil it. Tomorrow mm. you are back to school. Mm. You have fever, they, they steam you, mm. and you okay. Mm. We would rarely go to hospital. So for you, it was a natural thing. Mm. I mean, it's it's how you been, you you grew up. Exactly. So when you are interacting with it in yeah. terms of education yes. it intrigues you it's like a, a person who grows up uh, in a cattle keeping family yes and becomes a vet doctor yes 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 so he, or he goes to vet school yes he will enjoy yes. studying vet because they have been dealing with animals yes yeah so but you know when, when growing up some people might laugh at those those ones who are taking herbs instead of taking chloroquine and these uh, days these days yes because yeah. of uh, propaganda yeah propaganda of the muzungu yeah but also uh, Africans like to copy things. Yeah, we, we like things made in Germany, uh-huh. made in uh, India, yes. made in China. Uh-huh. So we think that uh, when uh, it looks dressed up, mm. it is better. Mm. But the same compounds, mm. the, same, the same places they are extracted from. The only thing we have in Africa, we don't like improving our things. Mm. We don't like making our things look good. Mm. And that's why we need to go to mm. improving our own solutions. Mm. Yeah, because, because we already have the solutions exactly. here we already have them in here. abundance. Exactly. Yeah. So if you can make it because you see have a medicine when they are bitter, nobody wants to take them. Yeah. So we must make them sweeter. Sweet, sweeter. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Improve the test, then yeah. we'll take them. Yeah. Improve make them as capsules, tablets becomes convenient. But also <coughs> herbal medicine has been uh, correlated with the idea of primitivity, right? Yeah. Uh, people extent. think that it's it's um, <coughs> It's either those guys who don't have money or those guys who are uneducated, they are not, yeah. you know, yeah, so modern. You know, mm. it is very easy to control people mm. and rule them. Mm. So, and one way to control and rule them is just to make them believe that what they are using mm. is primitive, mm. it's not modern. Mm. And then uh, they abandon it. Mm. Then you bring your solution. Mm. And make money from them. Mm. So, if our medicine is is, is primitive, then mm. even our foods are primitive. Mm. Hmm? Mm. The buga, mm. the echado, they are also primitive mm. because they are, they are also from plants. But we eat them. We eat them and we enjoy we them. Yeah. Exactly. So why would we say our medicine is primitive? Yeah. 
I think the mindset. Because yeah. the Muzungu, even right now, they are trying to tell us that chips and chaps are better. Yeah. Isn't it? And they are not. Yeah, they are not. Yeah. So, but with time to come, we are not careful. We we'll abandon our food. Yeah. And we begin to eat this chicken of two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two weeks. Chicken. Then yeah. you think it's good for you. Yeah. And it's, it's already happening, by the way. It's uh-huh. all over the place, the so chicken it, of two weeks. So, with time, they'll say, you know, eating kalo is primitive. Yeah. Even even some children in, in well of families. Yeah. They don't want to eat kalo. Yeah, yeah. They want chips and chaps. Yeah. So they say color is primitive. Yeah. I see. Now, let me understand you. How do you live? Because it's very important for me to understand. You are promised to be paid five times. Mm. This is five million. And it's back then, mm. right? Mm. It's back then yeah. because it's today it's equivalent of it's like maybe 15, 15 million. 15 years ago. Yeah. Mm. Like 15 million. 15 to 20 million. Mm. So five years, I mean, uh, those the five million mm. and five hundred thousand. You said no. Mm. Uh, who does that? I mean, why would you not take this this opportunity? So you see, in life, mm. you must see fifty years from now, a mm. hundred years from now. Mm. What do you want to see happen? Mm. Not today, mm. not now. Mm. So I always see long term. Mm. So in chemotherapeutics, mm. where I was working, mm. I knew I was getting lifetime wealth, mm. which even my children and grandchildren will continue with that knowledge. Mm. So a place where you generate knowledge, mm. we generate skills, mm. we generate products, mm. is better than where you're earning only money. Mm. So when I calculated, for example, Covidex, mm. the money that made for me, mm. Abacus were not doing that money even for, 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 for 10 years, mm. for 20 years. Mm. If I worked them for 20 years, mm. and I retired, that's all you would have gotten. That's all I would have gotten. Yes. But the Covidex money paid me more than that. Mm. Secondly, my children will grow mm. with, that, with, with that knowledge mm. and that formula for generations. Mm. See, the person who made Panadol or Coca Cola, mm. the family is still earning money over generations. Mm. And thirdly, by the way, you're also making a larger impact exactly on larger people's lives people's lives exactly being employed exactly and there's nothing wrong with being employed it's just that you used your intelligence and it, your wisdom to yes. look farther than the employment exactly. to look farther than the 5 million so yeah so so i saw beyond 5 million mm. and i refused to go mm. i stayed there i worked there for 10 years mm. and in little money of government mm. but i knew that my life my knowledge mm. would not be what did the five million? But also, you were passionate about this, isn't it? Yes, you were passionate I'll... about this uh, discipline yes. of uh, natural medicine, right? Yeah. One thing also with me that I like experimental things. Yes. I like discovering new things. Yes. I like trying things. So the other job, you will not be in a position no, to discover. No, 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 no. It was so just, it's just, it's just so repeating what the Muzungu already discovered. It's done like long ago for you. You are just, just there following to procedure. Yes. Yeah. And I don't like I don't like monotonous things. And you are not in control of no. it yourself. You cannot change anything. Yeah. And then maybe I would have created them a department of research because I just, I'm always exploiting. Yes. I like yes. exploring things. Yes. I would have actually, I would have convinced them to create a department of research. Yes. But again, it would not have been yours. It would have been theirs. theirs. So yes, I am passionate about what I do. Mm. I like this field of research. Mm. I like the field of... You see, I have been creative anyway, to Mm. a good extent. Mm. And I like uh, bringing new things Mm. to existence. Mm. I like trying things. Mm. I want to make... I I want to to design things. Mm. I want to experiment. Mm. Every day I'm sleeping, I'm thinking of new things. Mm. Yeah. I saw that the other day, and we're going to talk about this. But 10 years mm. doing this, mm. earning 500,000. Mm. And so, uh, how do you transform from that to where you are right now? What, what was the change? So, where you started just. <clears throat> did you like get out of the government job and start doing your no. own thing? No, so 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 while I was working in government, mm. you see one good thing about research, and I do and I do to do with research, mm. which are the science, mm. is that opportunities outside government, money, mm. is a lot also. Mm. So you can write grants, mm. you can compete mm. and win grants. Mm. So after I think like two years or three years, mm. uh, I, I wrote some grant. Mm. 
and I won that grant mm. from, from, from means of from National Council of Science and Technology. Mm. They were giving competitive grants for scientists to get solutions to malaria. Yes. So I wrote one, mm. I went and presented. Mm. According to what I informed, our presentation was the best, mm. was the most promising. Mm. So they gave me money to form a team. Mm. I had a team of about 20, 20 scientists, mm. including professors. Mm. I was the one leading them. Mm. <laughs> wow. I didn't have a PhD by then, <laughs> but I was leading a team, yeah. a team that had the professors with a PhD, yeah. Yeah. masters. Yeah. yeah, so our goal was to come up with a, a solution for malaria. Right. This year was... Uh, that was in 19... Uh, that, was two, that was 2008. 2008, yeah. Yes, 2008. Mm. Mm. I joined chemotherapy in 2004. Mm. 2008, that was five years after working, earning 500. Mm. Now, that, uh, that project... Mm. Had provisions for honorarium. Mm. Honorarium, like National Council, would pay us extra salary. Mm. So it was like four times mm. what the government was paying. Mm. So I, I then, secondly, if I would to a field, they give us field allowance. Mm. If I would outside Uganda, they give us per diem. Mm. So I had enough money again mm. while doing the research. Mm. So we studied uh, two plants mm. to see if they could prevent malaria. Mm. I was studying at three sites, Kavale, mm. uh, Kavale, my district, mm. and Entebbe here, mm. at, 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 at the lake. Mm. So I led the team that was doing clinical work, mm. clinical trial, mm. laboratory work, mm. and field cultivation. Mm. So eventually we, we got very good results. Mm. Now, what also helped me was that I, I also designed a project such a way that Mm. I think it was God's providence. Mm. So when I got the grant from government mm. to do that research, mm-hmm. Macquarie University, there, there's a professor there called Professor Kabasa mm. from veterinary school. Mm. He had also won another grant from Carnegie Corporation mm. to go to do their PhDs in natural medicine. Yes. So I applied to be a candidate. Actually, I was recommended by yeah. Dr. Nambatia Grace, who was yeah. my director then, yeah. and uh, Professor Lila, yeah. who was a professor in that project. So yeah. they called me. That uh, Patrick would like to do a PhD. I'm like, yes. Yeah. In which field? I'm like, natural, natural medicine. Okay, we have a grant. Yeah. So I was doing my PhD in mm. my career while I was running the project. Mm. Now, I wrote my proposal that the same the same thing would be answered to Makere exactly. and answered National Council. Yes. National Council wanted a product. Yeah. For this was the one thesis. This was the thesis. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I got some money from, from, from Makere. But mm. a lot of money from the other side mm. to the work. Mm. So I'll do my work. I present to the professors in the mm. the critique, they give the scientific <laughs> analysis. Mm. It helps me to improve the other side of National <laughs> Council. So National Council gave me also a vehicle. Yeah. So I was okay. Yeah. So I was, I was doing work very well. Yeah. After three years, we came up with a product. Yeah. We are calling it out of, out of my prevention. Mm. That medicine is wonderful. Yeah. It, it still it, it still works. Yeah. Yeah. Now I call it now now we have two versions, Genamal and Atabo. Yeah. So Genamal is the version that I own now. Yeah. Atabo is a company now owns that that that, 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 that that version. Yeah. So uh we 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 were surprised mm. at the end of nine months mm. malaria disappears from mm. the poor using it. Mm. Zero. Mm. After nine months. Mm. So uh, we made the product out of it and mm-hmm. patented it mm-hmm. and put it on the market. Mm-hmm. Now, from there now, I continue the aspect of developing more medicine. Yes. So now that you saw a breakthrough in malaria yes, yes. using this uh, natural medicine. Yes, yes. By the way, it's natural, isn't it? Purely it's natural. Purely natural. Purely. And you take it like tea. You don't have to say two tablets. It's, no, no, it's, no, no, no. It's liquid. Like now you're taking your tea. Yes. Even the tin is there. Yes. You just get a teaspoon. Yeah, and you add it in. Yeah. Yes, and you take it like your coffee or your tea. Yeah. You enjoy it, yeah. but it's strengthening your body resistance. Yeah, it's, he- it's healing you. After two weeks, if you have malaria in your body, it will come out. After that, you no longer get malaria at all. I've done 12 years, no malaria. You have 12 years. 12 years yeah. malaria free. Malaria free. My home, no malaria. As in, in your family, no one has had money. Totally, yes. for the last 12 years. The family. For the last 12 years. Only maybe visitors when they come, can get. But for us who stay in this home, wherever I am. No. Because you use this natural medicine. It's not. <laughs> what can you call it? I, I, it's, I, I take it in my tea, the other one. Yeah. Gen- yeah. I take it in tea. 
Yeah. The next one. That one. Yes. Gentlemen. We take it in tea. How much is this one? That one, I think, the factory price is 8,000. Mm. I think pharmacy sell it at 15 or 12. But that medicine is the solution for malaria for the world. Uh, so, I, let I me ask you this question. Mm. It, it, it seems like we have very many solutions, natural solutions. Mm. And uh, it seems to me like the application of these natural solutions is not to wait until you're sick. No. It is to be proactive. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That is how you are, you are designing these things. So, for example, this Genamal, I just put in my tea. Yes. Uh, my kids take the tea and yes. so on and so forth. And, and we, we're not going to worry about malaria. Not only malaria. But even other related diseases. Other related diseases. And you told me something about malaria, by the way. You remember last week you told me something about malaria that... So malaria... If you cure malaria... Uh-huh. If you prevent malaria... Yes. You prevent many other diseases. Yes. Because I think if... Have you ever gotten malaria? Yeah, very many times. What other, what other symptoms did you get? Earlier on, you, 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 you have terrible fever. Yes. You fever. Would, uh, sometimes you vomit. Uh-huh. You will be weak. Yes. You sweat. Sometimes a stomachache. You miss, headache. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes when it comes to cough. Flu. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so it, it means that if you don't get malaria, mm. you hardly get cough and flu. Mm. You hardly like get sore throat. You hardly like get those fevers. Mm. So you, you have to prevent many diseases. Mm. And, and scientifically now we know that uh, where there's malaria, mm. viral infections are also high. Mm. For example, papers have showed mm. if somebody has HIV AIDS mm. and gets malaria attack, mm. The, mm. Vir- the virus shoots up. Shoots up, yeah. The number shoots up. Yeah. But if they keep free from malaria, yeah. the immune system deals with the virus, yeah. the air deals with the virus, it goes down. Yeah. So they live like they become normal. Yeah. So, so where there's malaria, there's also HIV. Mm. That, 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 that is proven. Mm. Africa, we have a lot of HIV because there is some malaria. Yeah. Malaria paradise weakens the immune system. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I explained last time that they produce a compound called hemozoin. Yeah. Hemozoin enters white blood cells. Yeah. Called monocytes. Yeah. They make them weak. Yeah. They cannot attack infection in your body. Yeah. The 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 then the then the, 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 the virus can multiply. Yeah. T cells are weak and so on. Yeah. Any virus, any, any virus can multiply in your body. Mm. But when you don't have malaria in your body, frequent, there are no parasites. Yeah. Your immune system is stronger. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Because there's no hemozyme to make them weak. Yeah. So, so this medicine, number one, it stops the parasites from multiplying in your body. Right. Number two, it protects the hemozyme from entering the white blood cells. Right. So the white blood cells number remain high. Yeah. They remain active. Yeah. When the, when the white blood cells are high and active. Anything that enters your body, they, they engulf it, yeah. they eat it quickly, yeah. and they present it to the like monocytes, we call them antigen presenting cells. Yeah. So when they are active, mm. they produce way more antibodies. Mm. You know, they, they present antigen mm. to your B cells, produce more antibodies. So your immune system is very strong mm. when, when your monocytes are active. Mm. So, so this product, Genamal, if families could use it, mm. just with, taking it in, in tea. tea schools, right. families would go with malaria in just one year, I'm very sure. So I'm going with the, with, with some of these Definitely. today. Would, um, and once you don't have malaria in your family, mm. that means you are saving money. Yeah. Time also. Productivity. Ta- all those ones. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And now I assume that it's not just my family. It's the whole community. Exactly. I assume it's the whole country. You, you I, give I, me a figure. I, 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 will, I, will, I will take you to I will take you to Wagagai, yeah. our farm. Yeah, where I did part of the research. Yeah, up to now, mm. they still use that product. Mm. They used to have like forty percent of their patients mm. was malaria. Mm. Now, they can go the entire month mm. without recording any single patient of malaria in that place. Last week, you derived a big figure that the country can actually save. Yes, if if malaria is taken up care to of, up to one trillion shillings. Up to one trillion yeah. Uganda shillings. Yes. And that can be used to carpet our roads and yes, stuff like that. Exactly, but we don't manage going out. Yeah. On malaria. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So, you, you, doctor, what you're telling me, Professor Covidex, <laughs> what you're telling me is that we have a solution so, for malaria. Not only malaria. Yeah. But let's talk about malaria yes. right now. So, malaria is the solution. Yes. There's no doubt. I've published papers on this. Yes. We go trial, PhD report. Yeah, many people produce their master's thesis on this. 
So why 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 is it that for me I'm hearing for me for the first time? I think the biggest disservice that we have done is not to publicize yeah. our work. That's the biggest problem with academia. Yeah. Academia we do not after doing work in the lab, yeah. publishing a paper in, 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 in the British Journal. Yeah. And graduating, yeah, that's the that's end of it. it. Yeah, there's no the the person in the campus has not had your work. Yeah, the person in the village has not had your work. So yeah. our our research is useless to yeah. Ugandans yeah. unless you convert it into a medicine like this, yeah. but also make it popular. Yeah, Let people know about it. So, so let's take the opportunity right now to those guys who are listening to us. There's a a product here called Genamal. It's just one mm. of the products. There are very many other products that maybe we can. Have some time to talk about, but it's it's one of them. Mm. If people want to get this one, where can they get it from? They go to pharmacies in Kampala. Pharmacies in Kampala. Even up country now. And yeah. up country, you ask for Genamal. Yes. It is not necessarily medicine to cure no, malaria. No, no, it is it's something so... you use to prevent exactly malaria. Yes. You take it naturally. If you are sick, treat yeah. yourself. Yeah. Using the malaria medicines. Yeah. Then start taking this. Start one. taking this so that mm. you you don't you have never take malaria, malaria again. again. Never. So how, how often do you use this? Initially, I have to take it. One teaspoon every day for two weeks. Uh-huh. Afterwards, you can just take once a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what if I just take once uh, one week and then I don't uh, I don't take it anymore? If you okay, I know some people have taken it like for. I haven't done experiment. If you take after one week and stop, mm. but the people use like for a year mm. and they stopped using and they've never gotten better. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Good. So that saves us a, a lot of uh, money in terms of uh, and, and even time. As a family, and sometimes you do know. By the way, some people have died because of malaria. Some yes, have children, other children, children have died because, died because died of malaria. Some people have developed uh, mental, mental 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 disorders. Exactly. Yeah, because of this. So now, l- let me say this: that your your passion is basically to get solutions, medical solutions, so to speak, from natural systems that we have yes. that can help us to cure as many things as possible. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that you can't cure? <laughs> yeah, there are many diseases still I'm struggling to handle. Yeah. I'm still trying to look for solutions to cancer. Yeah. Cancer, yeah. cancer diseases. Okay. You're actively doing that? Yeah. I'm studying cancer is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. HIV we still we cannot sort it out. Mm. But recently I got a call from somebody mm. in northern Uganda. Mm. The way they're explaining to me something. Mm. It was quite unique. Mm. It's when I interpreted it in terms of the science I know mm. it looks like they could be speaking what what's really really mm. is gonna be a breakthrough. It's promising. And in a unique way. Yeah. In terms in of a, uh, HIV. HIV. Okay. Yeah, so I'm But it's natural, right? Purely natural. Purely natural. Yeah. So what, so what you're telling us them. what you're telling us is that uh, we can say God has given you the ability and the passion to Give us solutions from where we are existing, like trees that we are. What having. I know is that solutions for any problem we have is there, provided by God in nature. Right. We just don't know that it's there. Yeah. So it's us to pray, open our eyes, do research, and yeah. we shall discover. I believe there's solution to everything. Yeah. That that God has provided for us yeah. to exist in this world. Yeah. So, so this, so even the cure to HIV for, to, for HIV, I believe it is there, mm. but we have not yet seen it. There's a story I read of a man. In the United States, a black man actually. And my friend normally says you should not call them black; you should call them Afro. An Afro man. I forgot his name. I don't know if it's Bukas or something, Washington. I don't know. But he was able to just using the peanut. He was able to get more than thirty-nine solutions from the peanuts. You know, peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they use in in yeah. in uh, rubber, whatever. Very many solutions just from the peanut. So it goes back to tell us that. Some of the things that we need are already available in our environments. Exactly. You're so, telling me that you are going on a journey in Kenya to, you know, tell people about malaria. And there's uh, something you showed me in your in your garden mm. that this that plant that uh, uh, if people don't get this, they can grow it. Yes, also. that's true. Yeah. So that's the plant I started for my PhD. Yes. And then made this medicine out. So this medicine is coming from that particular from that plant, plant, yeah. So if, if I have that plant, how can I use it? So you, 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 you grow it, only that it grows well in cool places. Yeah. yeah. The place is hot, mm. maybe you have a lot of irrigation. Yeah. Uh, so in the, once you grow it, within within like four months you can harvest the leaves. Mm. 
you dry the leaves mm. and then grind it powder mm. and then you can use a teaspoon of that powder mm. in, in your tea in your tea or hot water in hot water okay and actually we are we are trying to come up with it because i know that people in the village may not afford this general mm. but uh, i have begun some project in our village there mm. in kabera in kalaki mm. where my father came from mm. We are trying to see how to grow that plant there, mm. and then teach communities how to how to grow it and use it. Mm. Because I'm, I'm, I want malaria to end mm. in Uganda. Mm. I want it to end, mm. and that that plant can end it. Mm. But when we try to grow it, the place is a bit hot, mm. dries up, it, it dries it up dies. quickly, it dies. Mm. But now there is an alternative to it mm. that one of my master students is studying, mm. which is his work. Mm. It grows well in anywhere in Uganda. Mm. So it's I more resistant. It's more resistant to dry season. Yeah. So I think by the next one year, yeah. we'll have completed the research on it. Mm. Then we can teach communities to grow that one mm. and use it. We shall stop malaria. So I want in the next two, three years, yeah. communities to say malaria no longer. Yeah. I want to begin my own village. Yeah. They say charity starts at home. Yeah. If I right. can remove malaria from, from, from your village, village yeah, then from, move exactly to the region. Move, move to Teso region, yes. Then spread to other region. Right. That's the dream. That's, that, that's a big dream. Mm. It's a big dream. But you're actively pursuing that. No, dream. we're going to do it because I'm working with the church. Right. I was locked down by COVID story yeah. and so on. But yeah. now I have time to go and yeah. move. So I'm going to go to the church. Yeah. Link up with the priest in Kabere Pillar. Yeah. Nanyara Health Center, Nanyara yeah. Church, mm. and re- we regenerate the plant again. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this: How many do you have a number of solutions or diseases that uh, you are handling or you are curing or you are preventing using your solutions? Yeah, so far now we have like fifteen, fifteen, fifteen conditions that we treat. Yeah, cure or prevent. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which ones are these? Can you like mention them? So one is the malaria, of course. Mm. This one mm. prevent the malaria. Mm. And you are a, a walking example. Yes. 12 years, malaria free. And I don't think I'll ever get malaria again. Yeah. Before I go far, mm. we found that uh, most of the people who had COVID-19 yeah. also had malaria alongside. Okay. So it means if you are having malaria, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are having a higher risk yeah, likely, of, getting likely COVID-19. of getting COVID-19. And yes. You've already said that malaria messes your immunity. Exactly. So, so when you get COVID, you are, you are really... Was, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. so so I think we need to prevent the malaria also. Yeah, I prefer to deal with COVID. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. very critical. Okay. So then we have uh, for for weight, genafit. Mm. Genafit people want to control their body weight. Mm. So you take it in hot water, mm. and then reduces the amount of food you eat. Mm. So because you're eating less food, mm. you lose what's in your body. Mm. You shed off that that that, mm. that 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 fat that mm. calories you have in your body. Mm. That is called genafit. Then we have GenHT for high blood pressure. Mm. Uh, I like I like that GenHT for high blood pressure because one, mm. it, 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 it when it works, mm. it stabilizes you completely. Mm. You can go, you can now stay for some time without taking it, mm. or maybe take it once in a while. Mm. Unlike the modern medicine, which you have to take every, every day. time. And you know, you you told me something about modern medicine that it has some adverse effects on your liver, De- right? Definitely, all drugs. Yeah, most of them pass through the liver. Yeah, and and and, and the, the foreign chemicals are called xenobiotics. Yeah, I mean foreign 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 sub, foreign substances. Yeah, so the body will try to remove it. Yeah, and that process it injures many cells. Yeah, in the liver. Yeah, so something like Panadol. Yeah, you take it every day. Yeah, to destroy your liver. You know, it pains me because my mom takes drugs like nearly every day. Yeah, and, 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 and that is the biggest mistake that the pharmaceutical industry has made. Yeah. Well, they are making money, yeah. but they are destroying lives in one or the other. Oh. Because the medicine that is designed for you to take every day mm. for life till you mm. die, mm. like slavery. Mm. I was teaching students at the university, mm. for example, like, see, if you are a medical doctor, mm. a pharmacist, or a nurse, you should be proud in, in, in restoring health of somebody, mm. not in keeping them on medicines. Yeah, See? they restored so, so, so much so that they don't need you again. Exactly. Mm. So if I treat you and don't get better mm. and don't stop, stop using medicines, mm. then I'm not I'm not helped to you yet. Unless there are conditions like you've mentioned, the HIV and the cancer that but, you don't have a solution. Yes, for. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Don't so, but, but we should work, we should work towards solution to cure them. Yeah. Not maintaining on drugs forever. Yeah. 
So, but in these days, it's becoming more designed to maintain people on drugs. Because mm. it looks like every drug we're getting now, mm. you keep it on it till you die. Mm. Since now, the mind of the scientist is no longer looking at curing. Mm. So, one solution forever. But don't you think this, uh, when you say what you're saying right now, you are stepping on some toes? Yeah, because because now we have commercialized everything. Yeah. We want to be, you see, medicine those days was not for people to get rich. Yeah. It was prestige. Yeah. It was service. Yeah. Somebody won't be a doctor because he has a heart to help people. Yeah. But these days we are we won't become a doctor because we want to make money. Right. Mm-hmm. So this has changed, which is very bad. Yeah. We must go back to that state whereby let it be like church service. Yeah. Let it be like school. Yeah. It's a service to make the people's life better. Right. Because health all of us want health. Yeah. Your health should not be tagged to the money you have. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Speaking of which, you, you realize that uh we are in uh, several lockdowns in in the in the different countries. The other day, I heard is it Norway or is it uh, Netherlands that are going to a partial lockdown <coughs> and so on about about uh, COVID nineteen mm-hmm. and so on. Can you say emphatically that they could benefit from COVID X? To a great extent, I yeah. would say they need it mm. because one, uh, I have no doubt. Mm. That when we are besieged by COVID-19, mm. anyone was in Uganda. So in June, mm. the first week of June, people were dying. Yeah, it Seriously. was even in my own family. Yes. My wife lost her father, her, yes. her uncle. We are run short of oxygen. Yeah, we run short of beds. Yeah, but when we released COVID X mm. within a, one week or so, mm. the tide just changed. Things changed. Yeah, things changed. And me, I have over 200 patients yeah. who are COVID positive, uh. doing badly, and recovered. Uh. So the effect on human beings is there. Yeah. The effect on the disease is there. COVID X helped to reduce the demand for oxygen in this country. Yeah. It, because p- people went home. Almost every home yeah. had somebody who had COVID-19. Yeah. When the children came back from school, yeah. they took COVID-19 to homes. Yeah. So all of us, mm. every home has somebody, but people used COVID X mm. and they helped them survive the disease. Mm. So even Europeans, they already they need that COVID X, they no doubt. But but uh, why <coughs> is it uh, at this moment in time there is not so much quote unquote noise about COVID X? So you see, the world system, the world works on a certain system. Yeah. Especially. Developed countries, mm. they have tied themselves to systems, mm. and those systems can't allow them to do some things. Mm. Well, it's good to have systems that mm. are robust, that are good, mm. but they should be also. You should also use your mind. Mm. Others, you know, they say the law, the law is good, mm. but the spirit behind the law is the most yeah, important. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't follow the law by the letter, yeah. but by the spirit behind the law. Yeah. So we have, for example, World Health Organization. Mm. There are countries that cannot buy any medicine not approved by WHO. Mm. Even if it's good, mm. they will not approve it. They will mm. not buy. Mm. It's a European country. Their mm. medicine is not approved by their systems. Yeah. And just to go through their systems is is years. It's years. Mm. So you, you see, you, you see, you, you see why people die mm. when we have COVID, we should have saved them. But why now, how about us in Uganda here? Are we like taking? Do you think we are taking full advantage of COVID X? Everyone I meet almost mm-hmm. having COVID X in the pocket. Right. The other day I was in Soroti. Yeah. Was, hey, Professor Guam, thank mm-hmm. you. I have mine here in my pocket. Mm-hmm. I take it. Show you the bottle. Yeah. What is the story behind COVID X? I know you've shared about this on uh, national television, but I think uh, also our listeners, some of them are uh, international. They did not watch uh, UBC. They might want to know. How did you come up with this? Do you call it a cure for COVID? COVID nineteen. Yes, for me, I know it cures. It cures COVID nineteen. Yes. So, how did you come up with this COVID nineteen cure? You, did you set out to do it? No. Yeah. So you see, uh, I began research mm. in this field now. Seventeen years. Right. Natural so, medicine. Natural medicine. Seventeen mm. years. Mm. And uh, of the many things I have done. I have studied particularly about three plants mm. for a long time. Mm. Artemisia, mm. this one which is for Genamal, mm. Wabugia yugadensis, mm. and Zanzuzala and Chalibian. Mm. Those are plants we have now in this country. Mm. You so, say they are, they are in plenty. Yes, I have studied their chemistry in detail, their pharmacology mm. in detail, I have studied their safety mm. in detail. 
So, and I've made medicines out of them. Mm. So when this disease came in 2020, COVID-19, we did not know about it. Mm. But people in China had published some work because it began that day anyway. Yeah. From what we know. Yeah. They had, they had done the sequencing of the virus, they mm. know what type of virus it is, they had mm. tried some drugs on them, mm. some herbal medicine from China on them. Mm. So in the, in May last year, mm. when there was lockdown, mm. together May with twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Together with some scientists in Barara, mm. most, most of them are my students mm. for PhD and masters. Mm. We formed a team. Mm to do research mm. on possible solutions to COVID-19. Mm. But our focus was natural medicine. Mm. So we said, let us review all the plants we know mm. that have antiviral properties since COVID-19 is caused by virus. Yes, yes, yes. So we decided to do literature re- review yeah. on plants that have antiviral properties. Yeah. Now, among those plants we found, okay, particularly me, yeah. the ones I reviewed, was the, the three plants that started well. Yeah. Artemisia, mm the Wabugia mm. and the Zanzuzaila. Mm. So, then I I, I, I I knew the chemistry of those plants. Mm. Then I read, I read some paper where they had tried a certain compound mm. called Barbary mm. on COVID-19 virus in the lab mm. and they had, it has succeeded in killing that virus in the lab. Mm. Then even Chinese had given that compound to certain patients, mm. one a few patients, mm. and then helped to dampen the cytokine storm mm. that actually destroyed the immune system of mm. the patients. Mm. So then I, with my chemistry, I knew that compound and mm. which plant has it in Uganda. Mm. So when I, when I reviewed, I found that one of the products mm. that I had made like 10 years ago mm. has that compound. Mm. So, mm-hmm. but I formulated it to kill viruses in the mouth. Mm. Now, years ago, it's like ten years ago. Yes, to kill viruses in the mouth, in the throat, and so on. Yeah. So I said, okay, since this compound, this compound is in this product, mm. and this and this product works on viruses, mm. and this compound will be for order to work on COVID nineteen. Mm. There's a possibility that this thing can help a patient who has COVID nineteen. Mm. So as God would as God would design things, mm. December when my uncle passed on, my mm. friends came to visit me mm. to, to support me. Mm. And one of the persons in the vehicle they used had COVID nineteen. Mm. So when they went back to Barara, mm. they went down with the disease. Mm. This was, was the white man, the American gentleman. the American uh, doctor. Yes. Yeah. But when he was badly off. Yeah. And I was taking care of him in the hospital and so on. Yeah. And then you know, the spirit of God reminds you of certain things. Yeah. So because we are, we are forgotten about COVID, yeah. even okay, we are doing still some work waiting for money from government to yeah. test this product and others. Yeah. But when this man went down, the voice one morning spoke to me because I've been praying for him mm. to get well. I mm. never want him to die in this mm. country. I'm done invited He was him. down with COVID. Yes. Yeah. And I'm done invited him to come and help us mm. to, do, to begin a program here. Mm. He's sacrificing for us. He's staying, he's not earning money. Mm. His family is not here. Mm. Basically, somebody has come to help us. Mm. So, one day when I went to, to visit him, mm. he always speaks to me, mm. that Patrick, did that product of yours, mm. they're killing viruses in the mouth. Since COVID-19 is also in the mouth, mm. in the nose, mm. in the throat, mm. you give him to use it like a gargle, like a mouthwash. Mm. At least if you can help clean the virus from the throat and mouth, maybe mm. it will do something. Mm. So, I gave him, mm. I think, two bottles or three. Mm. I said, Professor... This medicine I make, my chemistry and my pharmacodina may help you mm. with this disease. Mm. So you try and use it. Mm. So he, starts, he also believes it mm. and he starts using it. Mm. And then he called me after three days mm. that he has greatly improved. Mm. Initially, his lungs were beginning to be affected, mm. but now he said he's breathing well. Mm. In fact, the day I went to see him, before giving that medicine, he had even collapsed. We were trying to get up from his bed to go to bed, and he collapsed. Mm. So three days, the man says, I may be discharged tomorrow. Wow. So from the point of being, of collapsing. Mm. So I told him, mix this one and this one and do that lady to go. Mm. She had told him to give her, I thought the dose was six bottles, so you mm. go with six bottles. Mm. Then she sent me a message after three days that, hey, the patient is no longer on oxygen. Wow. After two days, you're like, ah, that patient was even discharged. Mm. Yeah. Now those are three patients. Mm. So as we are in the lab, now the disease has started in people. Mm. 
So I get a call, I get a message from my cousin in Amgongo, mm. Dr. Helipas, we are also badly off. Mm. So, you know, further down, me, my wife, and my daughter, mm. I'm on oxygen, so the wife's on oxygen. Mm. But I was so busy in the laboratory, mm. I did not send them the medicine. Mm. People were calling me, I was not picking phone at that time. Mm. So, uh, then, he it, it, it sent the message again, mm. then, Patrick, if you don't need a pass, we are dying. Mm. I read it was, it was serious. Mm. So, then another cousin from, from Lugazi calls me that to please, to please, if you have something, mm. help and rather we are going to lose them. Mm. So, I send, I send my cousin go to Entebbe and pick, pick, pick 10 bottles mm. and take. Mm. He took for them. Mm. Now, that day when I, when I sent him, the wife of my cousin had called me. Mm. She was crying. She, could, she was coughing. She said, I can't even talk about oxygen. I lose, I lose air when I, when, when I talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I felt pain. Yeah. Took the medicine the following day. My cousin said to me that I think for the medicine we got, I might better now. Just within hours, yeah. So I'm better now. I'm not on oxygen anymore. Yeah, I'm breathing well. Also, Sarah is improving. So yeah. Sarah. Yeah, I could not believe. But still, I say, let me not call Sarah because she was doing badly the day I talked yeah. to her. Yeah, after two days, I called her. I was surprised. Mm. I was speaking now well, mm. thanking God for the medicine. Mm. Said we are better now. The same person who couldn't speak. Couldn't speak. Yeah. Those were now five patients. Right. Have recovered. Yeah. So then there is our subgroup mm. where the lady who called me from Entebbe is. Mm. I think she told her about this medicine. Mm. The professor is working on something and seems to be doing well. Mm-hmm. So they asked me in that forum that eh, Professor Guang, tell us about your research and if there's anything on COVID mm. you're doing. Mm. So I posted what I've done so far, and this product called COVID test is showing promise, but we are still doing laboratory tests to complete it. Mm. Then that message is shared. Mm. Now, when that message went out, mm. my problem started. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my problem started. I mm. began getting calls mm. from people who wanted the medicine. Mm. But also from medical doctors and mm. non-professionals who are fighting now. Mm. This man is a con man. This mm. man is deceiving people. He has not even tested his medicine. So mm. many stories. Mm. So I tell I tell my students at the university that, that, that now this disease has started because COVID nineteen was now killing people. Right. And this has started. I've seen this medicine as active compound in it. It is safe in the laboratory. I've seen the people and they are, they are doing well. Mm. I know this from laboratory. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to Kampala, mm. to my factory, and increase production. Because mm. I'm not going to need this medicine. Mm. So I jumped on my pickup. Mm. I came to Kampala. I reached like around 11. Mm. As soon as I reached like, I was getting too many calls that mm. day. Mm. And I stopped picking my, my, my phones. Mm. But there's a number that kept on ringing, ringing, ringing. Mm. Then the voice, I always listen to God inside me. Mm. The voice says, pick that number. Mm. So I pick it. And, if, and a lady speaks. Mm. Coughing, coughing, coughing. Said, Professor, help us. We are dying. Me and my husband and the daughter, we have COVID-19. Mm. We shall die even tonight. Please, where are you? Help us. Mm. Ah, the lady was almost crying. She mm. was at the top while crying. Mm. So I said, where do you stay? She was like, I stay in, I stay in Kasanga TV. Mm. I said, okay, thank God. I'm also on, around, around yeah. here. So yeah. you come. So they asked, I said, can your husband drive? She was like, yes. So they came with her husband up to him. Mm. She was coughing, coughing, coughing. I mm. picked nine bottles, mm. I think ten. Mm. She was like, how much? I'm like, just bring whatever money you have. Don't worry about money. So she gave me, I think, 60,000. Mm. So I gave her ten bottles. Mm. We went. Early in the morning, mm. at eight, I called her. Because mm. <laughs> she told me they are going there at night. <laughs> 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 so I called her. Yeah. She picks the phone. She was not coughing. She was talking though a bit weak, but she was talking. Yeah. She was thanking me for the medicine. Saying I'm okay now. My husband is very okay. The daughter is okay also. Even me, I'm no longer coughing too much. Yeah. My chest has cleared. Yeah. Wow. The following day, I that is me. hours. Hours. Yeah. The following day, she calls me herself. Professor, thank you very much. We are okay. Yeah. I'm breathing well. I no longer. I did not cough the whole of this morning. Yeah. I'm okay also. I yeah. was so happy. Yeah. Then Saturday, that was Saturday, I think. Mm. Now many calls start coming. Right, because now the message is spreading. Spreading. Yeah. So my worry was now two. One, the drug authority, because I already submitted them all the exactly. data. They are yeah, going to I remember that very well. And they know me very well. Yeah. Because I started getting 
calls from some inspectors. Professor, we are seeing a drug on the market. Is it yours? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes. But mm-hmm. you have not informed us about it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you have that formula there, but we are under another name. But I'm compiling data. Mm-hmm. Give you under the name COVIDX now. Mm-hmm. But but safety of it or whatever you have it there, mm-hmm. like, please, you must you must bring the report to us. Mm-hmm. Then was I was worried of the fact when they were being banned. Mm. Many people are funny. Mm. Yeah, this, this thing is business. Mm. Some people now maybe we are benefiting from mm. COVID-19. Mm. We are providing a solution. Mm. We can go and ban the factory. Mm. So I call a friend of mine. I called many people. Mm. People in state house, mm. one, but they are not giving me a solution. Mm. Then God tells me to call a certain friend of mine. A lady, simple lady, very simple lady. Mm. I call. I didn't even know that she could help me. But mm. I just call her because. Her own child mm. and her auntie had COVID-19 and that meeting had helped them. Mm. So I call her and you know what? Uh, that meeting is helping people, but tomorrow the factory will be closed. Mm. So I'm like, no, no, no. Why? Who's going to close it? I'm like, I suspect mm. ND may come on. Mm. Because now people are putting ND under pressure also. Mm. That are people are calling them, blaming them and so on. Mm. So then she was like, let me get back to you. Mm. After like a few minutes, mm. she called me and said, Patrick, the president is going to call you. Mm. I said, the president? <laughs> yes. But when he calls you, mm. please tell him that you need security for your factory and for yourself. Mm. And ask him for any support you need mm. to increase the medicine problem. Because medicine helped my aunt. My aunt was in the hospital dying. Mm. She's been having a heart, heart patient disease. Mm. And now she's out. Mm. So how can you stop making it? Mm. And indeed, after like two hours, the president calls me. Mm. Why are you shaking? I was crying actually. I was crying. <laughs> wow. Because I was under serious pressure. I knew on Monday, that was a Sunday. Yeah. I knew on Monday. You see, there's a, there's a professor who was called Professor Sally right. in Uganda. Yeah. He came up with a product called Mariandina. Uh. And he was saying this product she was HIV AIDS. Yeah. But you know the people who killed him? Uh. The medical doctors. Uh. They opposed him, they fought him with the NDA at that time. Uh. And the man was forced to flee this country uh. with this formula. And the man actually was was right. You see, if the man says I chew HIV, I chew AIDS, yeah, it's different from saying I chew HIV. Yeah. So AIDS are the symptoms, symptoms of HIV. Of HIV. Yes. And the man's medicine was clearing the symptoms. Yeah. I only tell that when a professor says something, yeah. don't argue if you are not a professor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh? Because he's gone through the steps of verifying. Eh, exactly. And, and, and the man was right. The man was saying, "Me, I chew, my medicine chews AIDS, mm. and AIDS are symptoms of the virus." Mm. He was not saying I chew HIV. Those are two different things. Mm. But that time we are so ignorant in our mm. thinking. Mm. We, you know, people have a problem. Mm. When they want to blame you, they don't even think. They don't think. They want, don't want any new information. Uh-huh. Their minds are fixed. Their minds are fixed. Yeah. So the man was saying that you see. This medicine, and the medicine, the medicine was curing AIDS. Yeah. One, when you, the person will take it, they will stop diureting. Yeah. They gain weight. Yeah. They, they, they gain appetite. Their skin improves. Those are, those are symptoms of HIV. It's just someone will diurate. Yeah. They will lose weight. Yeah. They, they, don't, they don't eat. Now, if you restore all those things, they will look healthy. Yeah. Although the virus was what? The virus was still in their body. So the guy was right scientifically. Mm. That his medicine was curing AIDS, mm. but but we're not treating, we're not killing the virus. Mm. So eventually, the man left this country. He dies outside Uganda, mm. and then today, you know, who is making the medicine? That Marandina pills. Mm. Go to Freka Pharmacy and ask for Marandina pills. It's there. It is being made from UK. Oh, his formula is now a UK thing, and we're importing, it. and it, uh, and it's working. Yes, it's benefiting HIV patients. So, you, you by the way, did you did you did you see in the uh, the UK they're coming up with the drugs for COVID? Yes, did you see last is it last last week or something yeah. like that? And nobody nobody's blaming nobody's them. blaming opposing. But, but when a guang say that I have a, I have a chua, yeah. they want to kill a guang. Yeah, when a, when Americans say they have a chua, it's okay. Yeah. that's how stupid Africans are. So now the president calls you. Yeah, so he calls me, mm. asks me very many questions, mm. very many questions. Mm. I answer him. Mm. Tell me, okay, I'll call you back tomorrow. But he asked for names of people who might, who might claim that treated. Mm. Their names and their numbers. Mm. I think he wanted to verify. Mm. The following day, exactly at 10, as he had said, at 10 calls. Mm. Then he asked me for more questions. Mm. Some of them repeating the questions. I think I had to see consistency in my yeah. statements. Mm. Then the, that, that second day, they asked me what I wanted. I told him I only need protection, mm. the factory especially, mm. and maybe also myself. Mm. And if possible, uh, to expand capacity because the demand is high. Yeah. 
and uh, you helped me that demand. Yeah, you can't do the demand. Yeah, so he was very kind. Mm. He said, "Okay, I'll assign you security. You do not locate. Then I'll inform Madam Nigeria to give you money." Mm. So the following day, the locate calls me. Mm. I went to meet him. Mm. He gave me his security for the factory and mm. for home. Mm. And then Nachibu also was calling. Madam Nachibu was busy calling. But by then, mm. I found that I also had the virus. Mm. That I'd gotten the disease. Mm. So I, I did not pick phones. So from then on, he kept on calling to see how we are progressing. Mm. Yeah. Yourself. Mm. So it's yeah. like he, he was putting you under test that if you can get cured from it. Not really test, but he... Also, he was checking if 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 we are progressing with producing the medicine for the population. Yes, because at one time point I told him that we are running out of bottles. Then mm. he, they sent us some money to buy bottles. Mm. So bought more bottles. Mm. And kept on producing. So I didn't know if we are facing any challenge. I said no, we are producing. Mm. Yeah, but of course we could not still produce enough because bottles were limited. Still, mm. the country could not provide enough bottles. The demand mm. was so so much. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Then later on, when he called again, I think after seven days. I had gone to test and I'd, I was negative. Mm. He was very happy. Mm. He said, "You only used the our medicine." I'm like, "Yes, mm. yeah, I never used the antivirus from Europe and so on." Mm. So very very happy. Mm. Then he asked me to go and meet uh, Nachiwe again, the controller. Mm. So I met her. Mm. She asked us what we needed. And she told me the present that gave me a vehicle. Mm. So and she sent it later. Mm. Later the pickup I used. Mm. Then she took our budget. Mm. Which I'm told the president approved. Mm. Yeah, so she said, as soon as the money comes, they will support us mm. to to expand more production, mm. also do clinical trials. Mm. So then we received some money to start clinical trial. Mm. Right now we we submitted the documentation to National Council mm. for approval, mm. also NDA. Mm. They have kept on asking for many many things. Mm. Very challenging, but we are we are meeting one by one. Mm. So we they want every. Every T crossed and every I dotted. Uh, yeah. Mm. So now we one last step, which is very which is very expensive, mm. is to get the NDA GMP certificate, mm. certificate of manufacture. Mm. So we have to buy more machines, mm. uh, go and rent a better space. Mm. I left my lab now. Mm. Went to rent a better space. very expensive, of course, but mm. to meet their standard. Mm. So. Though it is expensive and hectic, mm. they do not want to meet it. Mm. Then, then internationally, it can be recognized also. Good. So the idea here is that you are not necessarily curing. Uh, I mean, you are not preventing COVID nineteen. You are curing. No COVID. Ex- yeah, we designed it for curing COVID nineteen. Yeah. So now we there's what we call randomized clinical, randomized clinical trial. Mm. So much as we see, we have seen it work in people. Mm. The only way you can prove that. It's not working by accident mm. or by chance. Mm. So then you have controlled con- control group that's randomized. Mm. So that's the next phase we have to go through. Mm. But we need like 2 billion shillings to that phase, mm. which is a lot of money. Mm. But uh, I think with the support from the president, we should be able to do it. Mm. Because right now, <coughs> we are finalizing the final protocol approval mm. and certificate of GMP from NDA. Mm. And then uh, we can then start in case the cases of COVID are still there. Mm. But right now, like in Mulago, there are very few. Mm. Uh, Barora, they're almost not there. Mm. Though the study sites were proposed in Tega and Mulago. They, 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 are, they are stocking uh, COVID X? No. So the clinical trial was supposed to be done from the hospitals. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But All because right. they are no patients. They are no patients. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's also good for us at this time as we prepare ourselves, mm. do documentation. Mm. The products so that when it, in case the case rise again, mm. we can quickly recruit. So you you can see how COVID nineteen is. It's not a, a Ugandan problem. It's, it's a, well, a it's a worldwide problem. Yeah, it's a worldwide problem. And so <coughs> they are, it will keep coming unless. Yeah, because I mean now Europe they're vaccinated, but you see they're locking down. Yeah, Netherlands sixty seven percent vaccinated. Yeah, but they are locking down. Yeah, yeah. so it means the disease will be, it may not kill people the way it was killing before. Yeah. But the disease will be there. It's spreading. Yeah. It basically, you could say it's like, it's just it's a viral disease. It's like flu. Exactly. Sometimes it comes yeah. in a wave and so Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes in a wave. Yeah. So we need to have adequate stock of covid eggs. Yeah. Adequate stock of other things. Yeah. So right now, we, we, we have enough covid eggs. Yeah. At least to, to handle. Yeah. In a, 
in a level of violence. But, but your advice is also that the, we need to take care of this underlying stuff like malaria. Definitely. You know, so that uh, our bodies are strong. Our bodies are strong because <coughs> COVID-19 needs a strong a strong immune, immune, system. immune, immune system. Absolutely. And these uh, underlying diseases normally they they mess up the immune system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So if you are diabetic, high blood pressure, mm. cancer patients, your mm. immunity is weak. Mm. So you need to support your immunity mm. by taking a products or medicines, natural, mm. natural medicine that strengthens the immune system. Mm. So, products like Ginamal mm. make the immune system strong, mm. which is again malaria, but again it's another infection. Mm. At immune, also we have at immune, which we designed it for HIV AIDS patients mm. to help the immune system for CD4 viral load, CD4 go up and viral mm. load come down. Mm. So, those are, those are good products to take. Mm. So, generally nature has designed solutions for mankind. For every problem that we have. Yes, because before the viruses come to us, most times or their sisters are in nature. Yeah. They have attacked the plants, they have attacked the birds, they have attacked the... So the nature has interacted with it. Yeah. Now, plants and other animals, even human beings, yeah. whenever they interact with the virus or bacteria, they learn to produce antibodies, to, antibodies and, and, and things and that can fight. can fight them. Yes. So for us as scientists, we study those plants to look for those things that in plants yeah. that can fight the viruses and the diseases. So, yeah. so when you take natural things, mm. you are most likely to take what could be having something against a certain disease mm. as opposed to these modern foods. Mm. So when you take herbal medicine, for example, herbal medicine has many compounds in it mm. that are useful for different diseases. Mm. So you could be having cough. Mm. You take Jena cough for mm. cough. Mm. But it also kills it kills worms in the stomach. Mm. It kills it's viruses. Just, one the, disease. The, the herbal is not just tailored for uh, one disease, uh, like uh, queen mean uh, is for uh, malaria. Exactly. It's for other multiple other diseases, things, multiple things. Exactly. And you see, you can go to hospital today. You have malaria. Mm. By the symptoms they're describing, they're going to check only for malaria. Mm. But you could be having another disease that is starting underlying, yeah. which, 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 which is not even manifesting itself. Yeah. Now, when you take double medicine, it may also clear the disease in that early stage. Yeah. You are treating cough, but yeah. it's also clear another disease which will yeah. have come up different. That's why people yeah. take our medicines. Yeah. They rarely go to hospital. Yeah. They rarely fall sick. Do you have solutions <clears throat> for non-communicable diseases? Yes, like uh, for diabetic patients. Yeah. Uh, it's able to control sugar very well, mm. boost the immune system. Mm. Two, three, around four patients mm. went off treatment. Mm. They kind of like got 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 to cured. Mm. Two of my neighbors here, mm. and here another lady in, in, in Uganda. Mm. So I think just capacity to restore somebody's health. If you also maintain now good mm. diet, mm. exercising, mm. you could go without taking any medicine at all. Mm. So we we were looking forward to developing remedies that could help reverse some of these conditions. Okay. <clears throat> do 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 we have any side effects when people take uh, herbal medicine? Very rare. Rare. Usually, mm. when they take a, a higher dose, mm. then they can get some reactions. Mm. But generally, side effects, unless a plant is inherently toxic, mm. see, there, there are plants mm. that are inherently toxic, so mm. we, which actually we are, we are told to avoid them. Mm. Don't use them as medicines. Mm. But otherwise, the ones which are which are used mainly as medicine, most of them are not inherently toxic. Mm. Let's say something to me that even a small amount can can harm you. Mm. Those ones are poisons. Mm. We don't use them in medicine. So most of the medicines mm. are actually safe. Mm. And the ones I deal with, some of them are used as foods. For example, yeah. avocado seed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Avocado seed, people even eat it yeah. in some communities. Yeah. Uh, Artemisia is even taken as food yeah. in Chinese and yeah. so on. Yeah. We have wabugia. Some people eat fresh leaves of wabugia. Yeah. So is used to Maasai add it to the milk of their children yeah. to fight viruses yeah. and to boost the immunity. Right. So most of them are, are foods, but, but but we just increase the concentration of okay. extract uh-huh. to make it become become like a medicine. So uh-huh. those days, even uh, the father of medicine, I think called Hippocrates, uh-huh. he said that uh, medicine and food are very similar. Uh-huh. The difference is the dose mm. and how you use it. Mm. And luckily, said, let your food be your medicine. And your medicine, your food. Your food. Meaning right. that we should not wait to fall sick. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Don't That's wait to fall you're sick. Doing here. You're, you're, exactly. You are doing preventive. You are doing preventive. For the most part. Exactly. Yeah. So That's why most of our products are also in terms of you taking tea, you mm. taking food. Mm. Because when you... And let me tell you, the human body is very close to soil. Yeah. And the Bible says that man was made from dust. Yeah. And 
That's what the plants feed on. That's what the plants feed on. So when you feed on the plants, yeah. we are feeding our body yeah. on what it needs to, to take yeah. place. So if you don't feed, if you don't take anything from plants, yeah. you are depriving your body of, of replacement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Irons, yeah. Many nutrients they are from the soil to yeah. our body. Yeah. So all the people that you see, since we are from the soil, must feed on things that come from the soil, not from the lab. Yeah. Not chemical and synthesized drugs. Yeah. Those do not have anything additive. So your your first pharmacy, you closed it. No, I I sold all the pharmacies. You sold all the pharmacies. I went into research and manufacture to concentrate on this. Yes, on this is what you're doing. Yes, and you see what hurts me mm. when I see that ninety five percent of medicines mm. in our pharmacies are imported. I feel bad. And they're also not necessarily preventive. They are, no, they are designed to cure something. Ninety five percent. You see, we go to med- in medical school. You are taught how to prevent diseases. Yeah, you you visit the clinic or hospital. Yeah, how many times to learn how to prevent the disease? They diagnose you. They give you medicine. Nobody teaches you how to prevent diseases. Yeah. But we're told how to prevent. So why are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The primary focus would be how do you prevent the disease yeah. from coming. But yeah. we go to a clinic, hospital, pharmacy. Nobody teaches you how to prevent the disease. They yeah. wait for you to come next time again when you are yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is uh, <laughs> is against what they they're, they're preaching. Yeah. So okay. so so in mankind must take. You see, before. If on the as we came up, health was under the control of the person mm. or the family. Mm. You take charge of your health. Mm. If you are sick, you knew somehow what leaves to pick, mm. what something to make at home and mm. take. Mm. You only go to hospital when you only go to look for for, for personal healer mm. when they are now reached like extreme end. Yeah. But originally, people had their their, their, their family home remedies. Yeah. They had their family doctor. Yeah. One one of the part of home knew medicines. Yeah. The mothers knew some plants yeah. to prepare for children. Yeah. But that was hijacked. So so our own our own, our own care of our lives was taken away to the factory to industry. Yeah. To hospital. Yeah. Now we think that it's the hospital that, that takes care of our health. Yeah. And making us dependent and spending money. Yeah. So people must take care of their own health. Mm-hmm. If you know that for me. When I take this kind of food, I'm healthier. Mm. Take it. That's what you take. Exactly. Yeah. If I take this, how much I'm, I'm okay? Mm. You should actually ninety five percent of you of your health should be taken care of by you. Mm. Should be able to to to, to treat yourself. Mm. Should be able to to do the basics of health yourself, mm. not to depend on another person for mm. your health. Mm. So the mistake we have made even in Europe and America, that we have handed over our health care to, fa- to drug fa- drug factories mm. and have made us slaves. Mm. So we are no longer independent. Mm. No? We are like kind of addicted, so to speak. Exactly. Wow. Tell me about the. Is it a cure or whatever it is for sickle cell? Because sickle mm. cell is a <coughs> is a hereditary disease or something like that. Yeah. So it's a condition. Cell, yeah. So sickle cell is a, a disease in which the genes mm. that code for manufacture of hemoglobin has mm. changed. Mm. So when the gene when the gene has changed, mm. it becomes like a permanent disease. Mm. Unless you change the gene again, mm. the normal gene. Mm. So their gene has changed. So the only way to cure them mm. when you change the gene mm. back to the normal gene. Mm. So the drug that I make does not change the gene. Mm. So it doesn't cure them. Mm. But it keeps the red blood cells from not changing its shape. Mm. So the red blood cells remain almost like normal. Mm. They can carry oxygen well. Mm. They don't clog the blood vessels. Mm. So they don't get those those oxygen demand mm. lack. The, the, Medicine that you've created doesn't cure. Yeah, doesn't. Mm. Doesn't cure, mm-hmm. but uh, it stabilizes the red blood cells, mm. not to easily break down. Mm. So in that way, they are able to have normal activity mm. while we wait for the cure to be discovered one day. So the guys that uh, have uh, used this medicine, they don't get those uh, attacks, no. those crises. They call no. it a crisis. Yeah, mm. very rare. Mm. Very rare. I think uh, I followed over hundred young children. Mm. Twenty years have passed now. Mm. Twenty or fifteen years have passed, mm. and they are they're fine. Mm. Yeah, including my own nephew. Mm. He's not cured, but at least he's alive. Mm. He, the He's alive. That's number one. Yes, and then the crisis is not there. No, very rare. Uh, mm. But you know, when they they do get the crisis, it's it's a it's a crisis, so to speak. Yeah, it's very painful. Mm. They, they have pain all over their body. Mm. Sometimes they lose blood. Mm. They 
they, they get infections mm. and some even die. Mm. Yeah, some even die. Mm. So when you prevent that crisis from coming, mm. that means the risk of them also dying is low. Mm. One good thing with this means that when patients start it, transfusion, forget. Mm. They are never transfused. Mm. Yeah, it keeps their blood normal, mm. fairly normal. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay, we'll pass that message across. So, we're coming to a close of uh, our discussion today. It's been very insightful. It's just one question I'm going to ask you. Last time we talked, you, you spoke about people and uh, employment. Uh, you are referring to your story when you are selling meat. Mm. Uh, what would you tell a young man in Kampala who doesn't have a job? You know... Or a woman... You see our women, if you, you go to Entebbe mm. airport, mm. you see how many girls are flying out, are flying out to the UAE mm. to work as domestic workers. Yeah, you see, I came to Kampala with only one shirt, one, one trouser, mm. and, and one uh, bed sheet. Yeah. But now I own land in Kampala, mm. other parts of Uganda. Mm. I, I I help many people, mm. school fees, mm. sickness, mm. but I had nothing. Mm. Well, you can say I went to school, mm. but I began making money when I was still at school, mm. like a primary seven mm. holiday. Mm. So you cannot say that you don't have a job mm. in Uganda here. Mm. In fact, Uganda is one place which we are so blessed mm. as a country mm. that uh, opportunities here are so many. Mm. Me, I began by selling a packet of cigarette mm. and roasting meat. Mm. I had enough money mm. roasting meat. Mm. How many places are here mm. where they are drinking joints? Mm. On the roadside, people are walking. Mm. You can set up your chapati Rolex. Store, yeah. Yes. Mm. And little by little, you keep growing. What's important, mm. make sure that whatever you do, do mm. it excellently. Mm. Someone will say that I will walk up to the other corner to buy the ladies' chapat because yes. that chapat is very nice. Yes. Just no sand. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. That chapat is well done. Yeah. So make it unique. Mm. Make make it make make the person want to come back tomorrow mm. to look for you as. Mm. So for people who say that there are no jobs in the Kampala, there are many opportunities. Mm. You can even go and you can there's a lot of redundant land in Kampala. Redundant mm. land. Mm. Bushes. Mm. You don't have to own it. Mm. Just go and ask the owner, mm. please. Allow me use your land. Mm. I'll be clearing it for you, mm. and it'll allow you. To, you know, you're going to clear the bushes for them. Mm. You plant your tomatoes, mm. you plant your onions, mm. and you harvest and you sell. Mm. In Uganda, you don't need irrigation right now. Mm. Because, so this thing of saying that I'm poor, mm. I'm no job. It's you. To, it's you making yourself poor. Mm. If you have two hands, you can speak. Mm. You can walk. Mm. Choice of poverty is yours. Mm. Eh? Mm-hmm. You can even just look for 20,000 mm. and uh, stage yourself on the roadside mm. and sell maize. Mm. There's a lady on an accurate road. Yeah. Every day she, she buys maize and she roasts. Yeah. I always stop there to eat her maize. Yeah. I guess she's making not less than 50,000 every day by yeah. day because one piece is 1,000. Yeah. And she looks for fresh maize every yeah. day. Yeah. She roasts, so you are forced to stop there. And yeah. if you pass up around six, yeah. her maize is finished. It's gone. Yeah. So, but she employed herself. I know, I know a month she's having one million. Yeah. So, how can you say you're poor in Uganda? You yeah. don't have a job. Yeah. It's just the mind. Yeah. So, these people are going out. I think many of them go there and suffer. Yeah. They think they're going to make money. They end up becoming slaves. Some mm. of them are killed. Mm. Why don't you remain in Uganda and think of what to do in this country? Mm. There, 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 there is a many. You may not do the farming yourself, but you can think of how to preserve those foods. Mm. Buy them from farmers when they are fresh. Mm. Preserve. You see, the other day when I moved around, I saw people still dry coffee mm. on, on the ground. Mm. So that coffee cannot be good quality. Mm. You was going a bit fine in school. Mm. See how to, how to dry that coffee above the ground. Mm. And then your coffee will sit better than that coffee because there's no soil. Mm. Or if maybe brown coffee looks good, mm. now see how to make it better brown. Mm. Maybe use ovens, mm. solar ovens. You, cannot, you can start with one. Mm. Keep improving. So find something to add value on. Mm. Or find something to do that anti money. I really mm. don't like posting that. In. The, I, I tell people that if you're a young person or a young woman, mm. don't ask money from me. Mm. If you want to ask money from me, ask for capital. Mm. Say, to do something. Exactly. To put an idea exactly. But, but, but not to pay rent, not to go and eat, not to medicine. No, no, no. Yeah. 
come to me that I have this idea of the business. Yeah. Or I want to do this. I discuss it with you. Yeah. If it's making sense, I give you capital. Yeah. And I follow whether they're progressing or not. Yeah. So one of the big problems that we have in Uganda, dependency syndrome. Right. The begging syndrome. Right. Even somebody who is able, yeah, still wants to beg. Has eyes, has uh, hands, has feet. Still wants has to beg. Health. Exactly. Now, this is the most amazing thing. Mm. Our sisters, mm. the ladies, mm. somebody has gone through school. Mm. She even has a PhD. She has a good job, but she still thinks that the man should take care of her. Mm. Eh? It's a very thorny issues, by the way. So you know, you know, the, the, the other culture and belief that my husband yeah. should still take care of me. When actually she's been, <laughs> <laughs> that is actually making herself dependent on this man. Yeah, actually, she, he, let, let the man know that me. I'm praying my daughter when she grows up, mm. she will be independent. Then she mm. not be a, a, a submissive woman. Mm. No, mm. but she must not think that without a man, mm. she can't. Live. She cannot live. Yeah, that is very take dangerous. Care of herself, exactly. Yeah. That's how men yeah. end up abusing women. Yeah. You made yourself a slave to him. Yeah. So without him, you cannot live. Yeah. So even if you're not going to school, my mother never went to school. Yeah. But we had almost everything until the insurgency came. Yeah. She would make some money, she buys a goat. Yeah. To buy that goat more she buys a cow. Yeah. She makes some money, she buys a, pl- a, pl- a, pl- a piece of land. Yeah. We cultivate. She would go borrowing. And took care of eight, eight, children, eight children. Without our, our parents, mm. our dad actually, because mm. our dad never stayed with us. Mm. She took care of us, eight children. Before you go to school in the morning, if you first go and dig, mm. our land was not very big, to like four acres around town. Mm. But she'd go and borrow land from, from, from mm. she plants there cassava mm. with us together. We never, we never lacked anything. She mm. paid my school fees from P1 to P7 mm. until Rebactivities came, then we lost the cows. But I would have not come to Kavar to look for any island. Mm. She had capacity. She never went to school. Mm. Just working hard. There are mm. women in this country here, in the markets. Mm. They are making their money. They are never going to school. Mm. But they are educating their children, using the things they sell in the market. Mm. So find out. I always say, tell myself, opportunities are there. Whenever there is a problem, mm. there is opportunity. Mm. Now we have bomb blasts. Yeah. Think if it was going bomb blast, what can I do yeah. to stop the bomb blast? Yeah. That becomes opportunity for you. Opportunity, yeah. Maybe you can design something yeah. that warns people. Yeah. Or there's always a problem there's always a source to make money in yeah. every problem. Yeah. In your community where you are, water was the problem. Mm. Maybe the water is dirty. Mm. Maybe mosquitoes are there. Mm. Maybe, maybe there's no, there's nobody selling paraffin near there. Mm. You can go and bring paraffin from far. You start selling in your community. Mm. Chaco, who is Chaco in Uganda? Begin a Chaco store. Mm. Just with 100,000 can begin a Chaco store. Be faithful. Mm. Treat your customers well. If you are having stores of Chaco. Mm. So, there, where there are people, mm. there are problems. Mm. Where there are problems, there are opportunities. Mm. Simple. That's it. Mm. And that's the message that you leave to our young men and our young women Exactly. in uh, this world. They today. must stop thinking that somebody's going to help them. Right. You must help yourself. Okay. I like the Japanese. Yeah. The Jap- there's a woman who died in the house with her daughter because mm. they refused to go and beg. Mm. Eh? You know that level of pride. Mm. We used to have it in Teso. Mm. People had pride in themselves. Mm. They will tell you the truth. We will say that. Eh? Mm-hmm. I don't eat from your house. Mm-hmm. So I'll tell you what I want to say. Because mm-hmm. I'm not dependent on you. Mm-hmm. So that makes you free person. Mm-hmm. But if you're dependent on somebody for mm-hmm. basic food, then mm-hmm. you are not a free person. Mm-hmm. So young men and women, there's nothing you don't have. Mm-hmm. This country is very rich. Mm-hmm. Opportunities are there. There's, if there's peace, mm-hmm. you can go and pick chicken from Gulu mm-hmm. at 15,000. Mm-hmm. You bring to Kampala, sell at 30. Mm-hmm. They have 15, 15, 15, if you brought 10 of them, you earn 150,000. Tomorrow again, you go back. Mm. By the time the month ends, you have money. Mm. The market for local chicken is too much. Mm. People are looking for local chicken. Go to a village, collect them and buy and, and bring. Mm. In fact, this thing, me, I think people should think about business. Mm. Business, as op- there are many opportunities in business in Uganda. Yeah. But you just need to think of what to do. And then also, there are things that I want, I want to write a book. Mm. Sacrifice then enjoy. Mm. Not enjoy before sacrificing. Mm. Here people want to enjoy mm. without sacrificing. Mm. We sa- I sacrifice to go to school. Mm. I sacrifice to do this research. Living five million. Yeah. Earning earning five hundred thousand. That was a sacrifice. Yeah. But for now 10 years. for ten years. Mm. But now I can earn much more. Mm. So without sacrifice, don't expect mm. to enjoy. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor Patrick. It's been very insightful talking to you and uh there's just so much that we can continue talking about. Your story is very inspiring. 
And uh, thank you so much for your productivity and for your purpose here on the face of the earth. Your life is making um, very many people get health mm. and it's giving us hope. COVID gave us a lot of hope. Mm. I think <clears throat> all of us have some kind of stock of COVID mm. just in case. And uh, thank you so much for being used of God to do whatever it is that you're doing. Thank you. Continue soaring. We'll keep talking. Maybe we can see if we can come and uh, have another discussion another day. All right. But for right now, thank you so much and God bless you. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.